Did they finally kill this model with this release? Is it done? Let me put my ear to the streets real quick, see what they're saying, and I'll get back to you. Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the crib. I'm your boy HG, and if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, become part of the homegrown family, the best doggone family on YouTube if you ask me. Hit that notification bell as well so that you can be notified every time I drop another video like this. Like what you see in today's video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. It makes me happy. The algorithms definitely love it, and we're just happy all the way around. Now, if you don't like what you see in today's video, go ahead and hit that thumbs down, but there's one downside to it. I can't show you how to do it, because like I always say, it's positive vibes only around here, but you're smart, go ahead and do your thing. And if you want to let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, or what you want to see for future videos, get down in the comment section below. That's the most important part about this experience and the part where your voice is to be heard. If you want to know more about the Homegrown Kicks channel, the Homegrown family, or anything else in between, click that down arrow and head to the description where I leave timestamps throughout the video, links to my other social media accounts, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and anything else I feel like you should know. It's all in the description, so go ahead and check that out. Now, before we get into today's video, you know how we do around here on the channel, and we're going to start it off with this right here. That's right, the box. Whether it's a plain box or an over-the-top box, we're going to show love to it because it is part of your purchase experience, and I think it's about time that we show a little respect to what you're spending your hard-earned money on. No, we don't wear it, but I don't care because this is what I do around here. If you don't like it, get, get gone, you know what I'm saying? Now. Looking at the box, it's an all-white box, which is not standard with adult size shoes. And most of the time, you'll find an all-white box on the women's releases that are special editions, like the uh, Neapolitan Jordan 3s. I did a review. If you haven't seen it, go check that out. But on the lid, you have Nike in uh, all red branding. You got Nike in red branding on the sides. On the bottom, you've got a little bit of red script, and if you can't see it, it's because it's probably washed out, but bam, there you go for you non-believers. It's down there, y'all saw it. And then on the front, you've got the sizing label right there, if it would ever focus. Thank you, camera. And um, it is in my size, a US size 10, and it reads Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. You've got the color code, you've got the colorway, white, university, red, and black, and we can't go any further until I give it to you in en français. So let's go ahead and knock this en français out real quick. Blanc Noir University Rouge. Perfect. That's what I like to hear, man, every single time. And we're gonna sit this down right here so that we can get into the video. And I'm gonna hit y'all with a little bit of something light, not the usual, and I'll explain why in just a second. So let's go and get into it. Ah, right there, man. Uh, a little light, bam. Breaking the glass still, and like always, breaking that glass is not cheap. So if you can go ahead and hit the like button and hit that subscribe button to get your boy to a thousand so that we can start paying for these lenses, um, I would greatly appreciate it because like, again, it ain't cheap, man. Help your boy out. Showing support is free. Let me talk about how I feel about this before I get into the details. Now, the reason I bought this shoe was because a friend of mine had me really hyped on it. I was not very hyped on this shoe myself, but my friend was. He was talking about how thick the leathers were, how he saw other reviews about how good the shoe is. And me, um, if, I, if I think I might do a review on a shoe, I don't watch anybody else's review so that my ideas and views are not skewed on it. Um, but I went ahead and bought it because he did, you know, push me over the edge and, and put me on the side of the purchase. So I did go ahead and buy it. One of the plus sides to me buying this was I did not pay retail. Uh, Kalarna has a deal. And if you don't know what Kalarna is, it is a pay in for payment method where uh, you can make four easy payments over time. But they had a deal where if you purchase these on JD Sports and I think Finish Line, you, um, were able to get these for below retail and that below retail price was 130 bucks with tax included so that's exactly what i paid 130 bucks no harm done no foul and uh i, I was able to bring y'all this review but um yeah this is reminiscent of a lot of colors a lot of people are throwing uh different names out there the alternate breads or the reverse breads um the alternate bread toes um, this reminds them of the Chicago's and as you can see it definitely 
pulls inspiration from some of those shoes and you can definitely tell where they got that from. And look, just for comparison, this is a bread, not exactly the all uh, leather bread, but the patent leather bread. And I mean, you can kind of see where they got the alternate breads from, you know, bing, bang, boom. Um, the bread toes, I have a pair, but I wasn't able to pull those out to show you all the comparison in the Chicago's. I've never had a pair of Chicago's, but if you've seen them, use your imagination. Now, uh, let's get into the shoe really quickly so we can get through this review. And then that way I can give you all my thoughts and opinions. You all can give me your thoughts and opinions and we can go from there. So let's start with um, these laces right here. You get extra sets of laces as you usually do with Jordan 1s. You get them in a red, you get them in a white, and then you get them in a black right there that are already in the shoe. Um, what color would you all go with? I'm not a huge fan of the laces. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of the shoe, but I've seen a lot of color combinations online. And, uh, you know, people have gotten pretty creative with these color combinations. So which ones would you pick? Would you switch it up, mix, mix and match? Would you go with one solid color? Let me know down below. Now, getting into the uppers, you have an all white leather upper on the mid and on the toe cap. Um, now, let me talk about this white leather for a second. My friend was like, this leather is good, no, it's thick. I There's some truth to that. It is thick. It is thicker than the average Jordan 1 that we have seen in previous releases. So that's a thumbs up. But as far as the leather quality on the white areas, it's some mid. I'm not gonna lie to you all. This is terrible. This leather quality reminds me of like the 2013 Jordan 1s where it was thick, but it wasn't the best. And that's exactly what you get here with this. So, you know, I just, I'm not gonna lie to you all. Maybe it was, maybe it's my pair. Um, and maybe I'm so used to getting good pairs that one decent pair seems terrible to me. But let me know, is it the same on your pair if you did pick these up? Um, does this leather feel cheap on the side? We all know what leather is with Jordan brand, but this just seems extra, extra cheap when it comes to these right here. Um, now, looking at the toe box, on the toe box you get a really nice soft red leather toe box that reminds you of the bread toes, not exactly um, the dark red color. So if you wash it, you won't have all of that fading, but definitely a really good soft red leather texture there. Working your way to the Nike swoosh, you get a really nice tumbled red Nike swoosh. I definitely like that. That's one of the highlights of the shoe. Um, working your way around to the back, this is probably where this shoe really shines. It's got a really, really soft heel counter in the back, soft, supple leather on the ankle collar, on the wings, and on the heel tab. That was the brightest spot in this uh, shoe release. One that I will definitely give its due props and respect to. Um, looking on the inside of the ankle collar, you've got an all black ankle collar sock liner, and then you've got red on the insole in uh, Nike Air with a white insole. Uh, looking at the tongue, you get a white nylon tongue that is extremely thick. And you know what we say around here, thicker than your favorite Instagram model with Nike branding in red and black on that tongue tag, reminiscent of the Chicago. So you definitely see a bit of the Chicago Jordan 1s in this shoe again. Now looking at the midsole, you get an all white midsole, not as white as the upper, but uh, the standard white midsole that you would normally see on any Jordan 1. And then working your way to the bottom, you get a really nice red Jordan 1 standard red bottom. Um, nothing too special, nothing to write home about, but yeah, that's what it is on this shoe. The Wings logo, of course, as you saw, is a black Wings logo. And yeah, it's, it's basically, I guess you could say it is the alternate bread. Um, or the bread toe or the Chicago, whichever one you want to call it, hey, it, it, it works for all three of them. Now, looking at the shoe, did it change my mind? Um, no, it absolutely didn't. This is definitely not a shoe that I have to have. Are these bricks? 
In today's sneaker market, a lot of people like to go on um, the resale value. Again, these are not very high in resale value in certain sizes. You can get them at retail or below retail. But yeah, that doesn't necessarily make it a brick or not. It's, it's all in what you like. Rock what you like. Because at the end of the day, it's your money going towards these. The only thing I'm here for is to review them and give you all an idea of if you want to spend your money on these or not. Not here to tell you how to like them or anything like that. But if I had to grade these shoes based on the quality and what I see, I would definitely give these maybe a five and a half, six out of ten. And only that because the leather on the back and the leather on this toe box saved this shoe. It's not a, uh, an amazing colorway. It's not a must have in my opinion. The leather quality on the majority of the shoe is terrible. And um, yeah, that that's, that's about what I feel about it. You let me know down in the comment section below how you feel about these Jordan 1 Heritages. If you have not checked out my video on the Air Jordan 4 Military Blacks, I finally got it right. I was calling it Military Gray in the last video, but you guys understood what I was saying. Go check that video out. It is really good. That is a really, really good shoe. Um, hey, and, and it's definitely worth the resale. But yes, again, um, let me know what you think about these Heritage Jordan ones down in the comment section below. Did you get a pair? Do you agree with my assessment on the shoe? Do you consider these bricks? Because like I said, you all are the most important thing about it or the most important determining factor about these shoes. And if you had to compare them to any of the, you know, previous releases, what would you compare these to the most? Put all that down in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Support is free, man. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Go ahead and hit that like button if you liked it. If you didn't like it, you know what to do. Um, before I go, I cannot leave y'all without saying nothing is impossible. Fight for everything you believe in. Don't let anything stand in your way and dream hungry. We still following that philosophy around here and I'll catch you all later. Peace.